Hey guys, welcome to LZH Project. My name is Salman Francis and this is the 19th video of our LZH Project series. And in this video, we will talk about Linux storage, starting with FDisk. So what is FDisk? Uh, basically, FDisk is a built-in utility for Linux's systems, uh, which helps to create partitions. And why do we need partitions? Well, to organize data, to host more operating systems, and a lot of other things. And basically what happens when we create partition uh, in Linux, uh, basically there are two types of partitions. One is primary and the other is extended. Due to master boot record restriction, we are limited to four primary partitions and number of extended partitions, like there is no limit for extended partitions. But uh, so let's start how we can create partitions with FDisk and how to make it available for our system. Okay, to check what hard drive we have uh, in our system, we use df command, it's disk free. Uh, dash H means human readable, press enter. And we can see that at the moment we have slash dev slash SDA1. Okay, SDA1 means first partition of SDA. SDA is the primary drive or the master drive and one means its first partition but basically I have more than one drive because they are not um, used right now and we haven't created any partition so that's why we cannot see it here. So in order to look at those drives I'll type let me clear the screen I'll, I'll type fdisk dash l um, and let me pipe it to less. And over here you can see that um, slash dev slash sdb. I have just created it for demo purpose. It's two gigabyte hard drive and slash dev sdc is also two gigabytes. So sdb means uh, secondary drive and it's the tertiary drive sdc with drive letters uh, B and C. So I haven't created any uh, partition on this uh, these drives, so let me create one. Quit. Okay, so let, let us create our partition on STB. To create partition, uh, we will use FDisk and then the device name, SDB, and press enter and it will bring us in this interactive mode it says type m for help press m and enter and here we can see that lots of uh, different options um, and list known partition types is important uh, uh, option and how to create partition press n how to quit how to write to the partition so because we need to create a partition, so we'll uh, type, sorry. At the moment, for P, we can use a print partition. And at the, uh, we can see that there is no partition. So let's create N, new. What kind of partition we would like to create? Uh, we would like to create par a primary partition. Press Enter. OK, so as you can see that there are four uh, primary partitions we can create. So, But this is the first, so one. OK sector by default if we would like to create uh, the first sector it's uh, we can just press enter actually first sector starts from 2048 because master boot record needs to take some place press enter okay and then what is the size of this partition we would uh, like to create so i will write to create 500 megabytes and we can uh, choose one gigabyte 500 okay let's let me check one gigabyte 1g okay press enter and now it's asking type partition one of type linux and of size 1gb is set okay so what we can see is list the partitions uh, type and we have Linux is 83. We can uh, look at uh, on the very uh, third line top. 83 is Linux partition. So let me print the screen, uh, print the partition. 
and it's by default it's set to 83. So we have created our very first partition and then we can just write and it's uh, the partition is created and let me check with now uh, f disk or df before it was not showing us let's see if it shows us right now and no it hasn't shown us because we haven't uh, created uh, the file system let me first clear the screen and check with f disk dash l less okay so we can see that um, slash dev slash sdb1 like first partition is created and to write file system we will use make e2fs or let me create it with make fs dot ext four well it doesn't need to mention type slash dev sdb1 and it's done okay because we have not mounted it yet let's mount it uh, let me create a directory mkdir uh, sd let's say second drive mount mount is used to mount uh, the drives to the folder so mount sdb1 to second drive sorry mount not mount okay now if we will take a look at dfh it will show us sdb1 okay and now if i go to this the second drive i'll we will found uh, we'll find this lost and found directory this shows that it's a uh, hard drive and it's uh, there's a file system on this uh, hard drive now we can create anything in this uh, hard drive let's say make directory new and now we can d check the disk space as db1 and it's showing us uh, the exact size it's 976 megabytes and use this 2.6 m so this is how you create uh, a partition on the disk with f disk and on in our next video we will take a look at part it so thank you for watching and please subscribe